All right, hi, I'm Michael. I'm Master. And today we're gonna to teach you a card game. It is a slightly different version of memory. Um, so we call it Make a 10 Memory. And what we're doing is, like normal memory, when it's your turn, you're gonna turn over two cards. But instead of trying to find a match, like instead of trying to find, so Nash, in normal memory, you'd be looking for seven and seven, yeah? In this memory, if you turned over a seven, what would you also be looking for? A three. A three, and why would you be looking for a three? Because seven and three and ten friends. Okay, so ten friends is how Nash has been um, taught to label them, and I know different schools call them different things. So do you want to go first? Yeah. Let's go. Five. So you're looking for another five. Four. What's that? Five and four. Nine. Yep, so no match. Now my turn. Four and... Six. So if you find a match, four and six is ten, then you get another turn. Nine and eight. That's not going to be ten. That's over ten. That's definitely over ten. 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 Now, zeros, what do we use for zeros, Nash? Queens. Queens. So queens are our zeros. No, ten and three is not a match. Two and... Seven. Nine. Yep, so... Your turn, Nashi. Ten. So, eight. And what am I looking for now? Three. Eight and two. Eight and two is ten. So I've got, oh, hey. I've got another match. So my turn. Five. And there's a five somewhere, isn't there? And queen. Five and zero is five. Your turn. Stop, what are you looking for? Five. Yeah, do you know where it is? Oh, I think it was... That was the five I turned over last time. But you need it. My turn then. Seven. Three. My turn. Yeah. Zero and... Where's that? Ten. Look at you All right, so that's the game, guys. You play till you finish. Three, um, three in a row. We, in terms of setting up the board, you just need to make sure that we had 24 cards here and we had two of each pair. You just need to make sure that you get your cards out and you make sure you match them up in pairs, shuffle them up, make them into some sort of array. That's Maker 10 Memory. And we'll see you next time. I hope you enjoy playing.